Hey, day in the life of a newly made Swede. Time to go shopping. Mercedes. Driving here is a little weird, but we do have some familiar sights. Uh, Circle K gas station. But you have to watch out for bicyclists everywhere. Bicyclists. And we have roundabouts, which are fun if you don't know what you're doing. Now I'm on roundabout. There we go. And now we're at my favorite Swedish grocery store, which is Coop. Super, super American. Uh, just in its choices and blah, blah, blah. Now so we get our buggies. Woohoo, flowers at the door. Everything is in crowns, so 39 crowns is about four bucks. Okay, so Friday is here, our Taco Friday, so getting Tex Mex cheese and the hamburger. Meat quality here is about a million times better than the steak. One thing that Sweden has an overabundance of is dark, delicious coffee. You might recognize Yevalier. This is the coffee we drink, which is Ovid Nolkvist. And I can tell it's ours because it has an elephant on the package. 59 crowns. It's expensive. Another thing that they have is cereal, but it's not like our cereal. It's more like really, really healthy or granola. I mean, they have regular garbagey kind of cereal, but I like the healthier stuff. Which is like I said, it's uh, Taco Friday here, which is probably a tradition that's coming about the past 10 years, but they have flour tortillas. No corn, which is, ah, there's corn, but nobody eats corn here. One thing I love about Sweden is um, on Saturday, it's called Lourdes Gudis, which means Saturday candy. And they do not mess around here when it comes to candy. I think they are one of the largest uh, candy consumers in the world. So this is Gudis. For the final Swedish tradition on Friday, it is called Freydesmiss, which directly translates to Cozy Friday, which is where we get potato chips of any flavor. And we sit and watch Netflix. So it's Cozy Friday. I hope you enjoyed your uh, tour of the Swedish shopping center.